we envision that we want to see more people turning to healthier alternatives, mainly AVA versus alcohol. We'd rather people turn to AVA and return to their roots and culture and, and cherish and value this, this wonderful plant. By drinking AVA, if it's actually healthy for you and helps to unwind as well as help prevent some of these long-term diseases, then why not try to work that into your routine? What inspired us? I think just because we love to grow stuff in the back of our yard. Um, we love being outside and working outside. And our family is a huge thing to do with it, right? Teaching our young daughters how to be farmers. They went from just growing like a handful of lily koi plants, going to like 400 seedlings now. Now we're trying to see and see if we can actually do the scale up. We're trying to force ourselves to like get used to that much that much farming now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty much. Testing different trellising, yeah. so it's really exciting. Yeah. We're exploring more things. Our backyard became like Dexter's lab. I got started in farming because I wanted to know why is it so hard to find good quality produce at the supermarket. And I found out that we import a lot of our food and that actually affects taste. If vegetables don't taste good, how do you expect people to want to eat it? I became a farmer so that I can help grow really good tasting food. I hope for the future that when people see me or when they see Haley, they go, oh my gosh, that's a woman Hawaiian farmer. I can do that too. We grow primarily leafy greens, uh, lettuces. Um, we grow microgreens, uh, ice plant, edible flowers, usually garnishes and other things for uh, restaurants and gourmet markets. But we're really looking forward to hopefully getting more people aware of and excited about vertical farming. Uh, it's you know, all we see and we appreciate all the traditional farms and regenerative agriculture here in Hawaii. But we really think we have to keep adding new and uh, technologies and new paradigms uh, to the landscape in order to make sure that we keep our food um, supply up and uh, increase our food self-sufficiency. Simple, but um, but you know, it's good solid food that, that comes from uh, comes from Moyamole. We're able to to uh, win the Mahi Ai matchup. Um, it's going to be a lot of work. To me, it's an exciting opportunity um, to to grow. You know, as as, as a koi factory. To me, it's really it's it's really it's inspiring. You know, just to see all of these different perspectives and different parts of of um, the food system. You know, and, and for me, uh, it, it strengthens my faith that you know eventually we're going to get to a point where, as a community, we can feed ourselves again.